my life where I, I deserved for God to leave me, but he didn't. There have been times in my life when I let anger get the best of me or I, I let um, my addiction get the best of me or I let my depression just grab me up by the throat. In essence, worshiping my addiction, worshiping my anxiety, worshiping my depression, letting it dictate to me what I was going to do, what I was going to say, who I was going to talk to, the whole thing. I just, I just want to encourage you today to say, you know what? God's not going to leave you, bro. God's not going to leave you, sis. He, he's right there with you. He's, he's right there with you. And I get it. Like, we, we think that we have to do all this stuff. We have to be all this religious. We have to jump through this hoop, jump through that hoop, be at this meeting, be at that meeting, be at this, be at that, become a leader, be all this. But you know what? All those titles and all that stuff, God doesn't really care about it. It's not for him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was reading a book yesterday and it was talking about the life of our heart. And it was talking about how sometimes our heart can ask questions that sometimes scare us. And then we run to religion, and then we run to church, we run to, you name it, we run to it, trying to make up for the, for the scary question that our heart just asked. You know what the scary question was? There has to be more. And this book was saying, that this book was saying, to, to listen to your heart, because your heart won't lie to you. I remember, and the reason I, this is so heavy on my heart is because I remember even in my drug days, even in my days of doing drugs and all the things, you know, I, I would have this cry from my heart to know that there was more than that life that I was living, that there was more to what I was doing. There was more to just being drunk all the time. There was more to being just high all the time. There was more to just being depressed all the time. But type this in the comments, just say my heart has a life. You know, Jesus said, love the Lord God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. It's easier said than done, but that's what he said. So that must mean that our heart means something to God. So, so if our heart is telling us something, guess what? Is God speaking through our heart then? So, so that push for you to get sober, that push for you to try something new, that, that push for you to, to be a better version of yourself, that, that's most likely God talking to you through your heart then, right? So when we run from that, we're actually running from God. It's like Jonah. He knew in his heart he was supposed to go to Nineveh. Yeah, he goes to Tarshish. Tar Tarshish. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. But isn't that a lot like us, though? And then we submerge ourselves in, in religious dogma. When I think it's as simple as this, we come from a place of love. Therefore, everything we do comes from a place of love. And then when it comes from a place of love, then we're being that representation of God to everyone that we meet. And I think that's honestly the gist of it. You know, I just want to pray over you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever, wherever you find yourself at watching this video. I just want to pray over you 
So in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for this individual right here. God, I ask right now that you would surround this person right here. Lord, I pray that you would begin speaking to their heart right now, God. The very thing that they're trying to figure out, that they're trying to find out, God. I pray that you would start speaking to their heart, Lord, that soft little nudge. Lord, I pray that the whisper of your voice would return to this person's life. That it would guide them all the days of their life. And that they would feel your presence like they never felt before, starting from this point forward. God, we cry out mercy. Have mercy on us where we let anger get the best of us, where we let our depression dictate to us, where we let our anxiety, Lord, have mercy on us. I ask for mercy on this individual here, God. And I ask that you would show your love to them, Lord. And Lord, I just thank you and I praise you. And it is your name that I pray. Amen. Listen, I love you so much. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button if you're not already, and smash that like button for me. And listen, until next time.